Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Charles Harper, and I'm here with Dave Espino. And uh, Dave and I have known each other for a little bit. Uh, actually, I've known of Dave um, for a little bit, and we've probably been talking for about you know a couple of years now. And he's got a very interesting uh, system that that he's been um, uh, really kind of uh, showing people how to use in terms of getting people into some kind of marketing funnel or some kind of marketing uh, apparatus um, using LinkedIn. And I don't know a whole lot about LinkedIn and I wanted to bring him in to kind of talk about this system and kind of what are the, some of the things that you, know, you can do with it. Now, you're, if you're listening to me, you, I know you have online courses. Um, you probably do some consulting. Um, uh, and you probably uh, are trying to get people into workshops. So I want to talk to Dave a little bit about this system and about how it can work for people, Dave, to have online courses. Before we do that, can you just kind of um, give us an overview of the system, and then let's kind of get into the sort of things we could do with it. Absolutely, and, and thanks for having me on here, Charles. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, the system is it's called The Missing Link. And it's about a, a brand new way to use LinkedIn ads to generate a massive amount of leverage. And it's, it's been amazing. Uh, in fact, we have a case study of my business partner, Jeremy, who turned a $75 ad spend into $41,000, <laughs> which is mind boggling. And I'll, I'd, I'd like to get into a couple of the reasons how, how he did that. Um, part of it is just the use of leverage. So I'm going to be talking a lot in this, in this video about how you leverage this thing. Yeah. Um, the ads themselves are, an, it's almost like LinkedIn is giving us permission to buy solo ads to their audience, but not just to their broad audience, but to very specific audiences. And then the cool thing about the ads, one of the leverage points in the ad is that you can actually use their name in the subject line, hmm. in, in the body of the ad. You could use their company name, what company they work for, you can use uh, whether they are a small business owner, if that's who you choose to target. Yeah. So th it, there's a lot of personalization to these ads. And then on top of that, another leverage point is that it has a chatbot feature built in. So all you do is you, you write a simple, a very short ad and you ask them if they'd like to take the next step. And, you, mm -hmm. and they, there's a little button there that they click, takes them to the next step. So you're kind of building a conversation with this audience to warm them up very quickly. Um, so this so doesn't really work as, I know Facebook ads, I mean, they're, they're sort of intimidating. Yeah. Um, and, and you were sort of, and I, and I didn't get through the entire guide. I know you were saying in the guide that these are actually different and it allows you to do some target, the kind of targeting that you can't necessarily even do on Facebook. Exactly. Uh, the, the rules and the guidelines are much less strict on LinkedIn um, and the ad setup itself is super easy. I mean, if I could do it, <laughs> super simple ad setup. Uh, it's really just following the, the steps that they give you. But uh, what I'd rather people do is follow the steps as Jeremy explains them because he's, all, he's made it successful. He's made it work really well. And he gives you little tips and tricks along the way to make sure you're doing the ad correctly um, to get the best results for it. But yeah, it's a very easy to use uh, platform, a lot less restrictive. And by the way, even though it's less restrictive, you're getting access to professionals. You're getting access to career-minded people. You know, uh, on LinkedIn, they have a much higher spending power, much higher, uh, typically much higher education level. Yep. All kinds of great. I mean, it's a it's a beautiful market to be in. And so these people that you know you're targeting, they're sort of already open to business-related products because people that are listening to to us right now. They've got they've got business related courses. Um, awesome. They've probably got business related services that they're looking to looking to sell. So now, one of the things that I know you talked about is that let's say that you're you're a consultant. There's some ways that you can do some things with the system to kind of either sell to the people that you know need need leads, or you can use it to get leads. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful for that because it, I look at LinkedIn as, a, as an awesome business-to-business -business marketing opportunity, uh, whereas on Facebook, it's kind of hard to, to touch those business people and hit those business people, you know, and not only that, but they're not even there to think about business, right? Right. 
But on LinkedIn, when I go to LinkedIn, I, I have a business mindset completely. And I'm, I'm in there just to, t to think about business or career advancement or professional advancement. So you can go in there and you can generate leads by having a good lead magnet that you, that you share for free. And then you can even sell those leads if you wanted to. You can resell them to people who could benefit from it. So um, that's a, in effect, that's what Jeremy did in his case study because he sells leads to insurance agents. But what was really powerful about what he did was instead of targeting the insurance agent with his ad, he targeted the broker who's in charge of agents. <laughs> so if you target the broker with your ad, those few pennies that you're paying for that ad are now potentially that broker can share with all of their people, right? And so now you've got that other leverage effect of the broker sees, oh, this guy's selling insurance leads. He's one of our approved vendors. He's giving a promo code, a discount on the leads. I'm going to share this with all my team. And that's one of the ways, one of the various uh, leverage elements that he used to turn 75 bucks into $41,000. So, so let's say, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So, so it's important to note that if you can target the influencer in a company, meaning a manager, a supervisor, a sales manager, somebody who's in charge of people, man, you could target them and then make sure, encourage them to give, give or share that offer, whatever it is. It's a course, share that with all of your team, you know? And I was talking to one of the people that I coach, she runs and she has an Excel, uh, she calls it Excel Nirvana, but she has an Excel training for people who are just starting out learning Excel. And I'm like, this is perfect. There's all kinds of administrators, managers who would love to have their team know this stuff if they don't already about Excel. So if she contacts the manager, then they can share the word with all of their team. So I know some of the folks that are listening, they've got training that I did. Um, I've got a PLR course, Dave, that I just did on Zoom. And I've also got one oh, that wow. I just did on Microsoft Teams. So, so, so some of these people who are on this call, they have both of those courses. So That's awesome. They could target people who would be likely candidates for those courses with this system. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And I love that those are more of the office based, uh, you know, things and zoom right now, obviously is hot. So it's, it's really good timing for that type of course to put out there. And so just imagine if you were to, if you were to target companies that are starting to use it and then call them out by name, the name of the company or the name of the person, their job title, you know, as a senior manager, you know, the importance of, you know, having Zoom in your office, blah, blah, blah. So now you're, you're targeting that influencer within the company and you can spread sales that way. Hmm. Yeah, so now kind of kind of shifting gears a little bit, one of the things you covered in there, um, you talked about affiliate marketing. So, so this can even work for the folks who are listening to us that really want to do you know, they, they, don't, they don't necessarily want to sell person to person, but they want to do affiliate marketing. So you can use this to reach people to do affiliate marketing. Yeah, totally. And in fact, in the course, I think we talked very briefly about, we, we kind of give it away. It's, a, it's something we're going to do. <laughs> but uh, the affiliate marketing works amazing if you can have some kind of free product. Uh, so the barrier to entry is super low. So if you have like a free plus shipping book, um, some people know that I work for ClickFunnels as a coach. Yep. So, uh, you know, their Expert Secrets book, which I have right here, um, they, have, they have this as a free plus shipping offer, right? So if you were to offer this to people who are speakers, coaches, trainers, uh, personal coaches, um, people who call themselves an expert or whatnot, Yep. on on LinkedIn that's their title or that's something that they used in their in their profile and you say hey this is a free book on how to get your message out and how to you know blah 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 um, well free is very enticing very exciting you're going to get good response to that and then because ClickFunnels has something called a sticky cookie uh, anything they buy in the future from ClickFunnels gets credited to you so you get paid commissions there not to mention you get paid commission on that too right yeah um, yeah yeah 
So, so, so they could they could get them into an actual, um, they could get them actually into an actual funnel. So if you know somebody's got if, if there's a, a vendor and they've got a good uh, free offer and a and a and an offer that converts, whether it's later down the line or even at the point at which the person opts in, that would be the kind of person to target with this kind of uh, this kind of offer. Yeah, totally. And, um, and I like that idea because, uh, and by the way, there's a lot of different affiliate programs like that. And not to say that you couldn't just outright sell a product as an affiliate. You can definitely do that as well. Um, it's all about the targeting, how important the targeting is. Uh, you know, you're targeting the right person with the right message and boom, you've got a sale, you know. And by the way, one of the things I, I didn't mention, I don't think in the course, but is that you can direct link to an affiliate product. Which That's is, different. yeah, which is hard to find in most marketing. At least I've done it, and I haven't gotten dinged yet. So <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah. So, you, so you can you can put the direct link in the actual message. The direct affiliate link, yeah. Wow, oh, that's different. Wow, that's, that changes things. That's what I did with uh, with a couple of my promotions. Uh, you know, my initial tests. I, I did I did it not thinking it would be a problem because. In the, in the old days, it wasn't a problem, right? But lately, it's been a, an issue like with Facebook won't let you do direct linking and a lot of Google right, won't yeah. let you do direct linking. But apparently, <laughs> click, I mean, LinkedIn will. So, you know, Dave, one thing I have been talking about, you know, with the folks who are, who are listening and I've been interested in myself and I am very interested in is um, I want to be able to, let's say, target people in central PA um, and and to invite them to a workshop so I could theoretically use this system to get people into even if the workshop was not a physical workshop but probably even work better if it is an online workshop right yeah totally now I believe they have um, location targeting I wouldn't I can't see why not but I would have to dig into that and see um, I'm just taking a quick look here to see if any of these accounts, I mean, I'm sorry, any of these campaigns might, I'd have to do a little research on that. Sure. Sure. But I don't see why they wouldn't have. Yeah. Cause I mean, that it's it, targeting. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. That that's what, what interests me. I know most people are probably not interested in that who are on this call. That's just me being weird. Um, yeah. because I, 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 I'm looking for that audience that's, local but yet willing to come to an online workshop which is that's kind of a, such of a different thing and a hard person to get into if i could use that for this that would be kind of cool well guess what i just found it so it says uh, under where is your target audience locations it says enter one or more countries states cities or towns where you want people to see your ads that is what's up yeah that um, is. <laughs> so uh so so now um obviously people are listening to this now dave I don't know when they're going to see this. Uh, I know when I'm going to send it out, probably shortly after we talk. Mm -hmm. But people are going to watch this on YouTube. It's going to be later. As of right now, people who are seeing this, when we're doing this, um, obviously it's going to be available for a limited time. So, so, so in terms of um, you know, their, their, their time to get in on this, what kind of time frame are we talking about? You know, I haven't had that conversation with James. James Renouf is the kind of the uh, person who's running the campaign. Uh, so it was James that, that partnered with me, and then I partnered with Jeremy. So we're all three bringing it. Um, but I would, I would just say get it as early as possible because it's on a dime sale type of thing, which means with every sale, the price goes up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you might as well just, just get it. And by the way, it's, it's really inexpensive right now. I think it's like 13 bucks or something. Right, yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, I mean, I just wouldn't hesitate. I would just jump on it and get it. It is so, it's worth so much more than that. I, I don't know why he put it at such a low price, to be yeah, honest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I really, I really like the method because it's got a lot of different ways. And, and I think one of the things that really, um, I think confuses, I wouldn't even say confused, confuses people when they, when they're trying to get, they've got a good offer. And then the next thing is, well, how do I get people in front of it? And so you're really kind of solving that without having to do things like, um, you know, post on Facebook all day. You're sort of already finding that business person who's already interested in something business related. 
Yeah, yeah, totally. And what's amazing too is you can also target small business owners. That's one of the classifications that you can target. So if you're selling to small business, which is notoriously a hard market to to get into unless you're buying like actual physical mailing lists, yep. that kind of thing. But man, you could target the specific type of small business. So if all you wanted to do was contact auto dealerships or or only contact chiropractors that are small businesses, you could do that. So it's um, it, it's got so many uses. It, I, I literally, I think I have to, this coming weekend, I have to just take some quiet time and brainstorm because um, the, the strategy as it is, is awesome. And then if you can apply the right targeting, the right message to the right targeting, I think lights out. It's, it's, it's going to be amazing. And so it's one of those strategies where it boggles the mind because number one, it's so new. So we need to, we're kind of like pioneers, really. We're, we're figuring out what mm -hmm. is the ultimate, most incredible way to use it, right? Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. I'm looking forward to, to really running some tests on it. So, they, so, they, so they get in, um, they're going to, they're going to be in the, they're going to be in the members area. And so they can just kind of, kind of go through that course. That's probably the best way to kind of get things moving pretty oh, yeah. fast. It's just, it's just get in there. Um, do the course. I, what, what do you think it takes? Less than an hour, Dave? Or uh, less it'll take about two hours max, I think. Uh, two hours? Okay. Yeah, the, the main part of the course is where I, I interview Jeremy on a call just like this on a Zoom. Yep. And then he explains step by step. He First, he gives us an overview of how it's all working. And then he goes step by step to actually how he would create the same exact campaign. Okay. So literally everything that he did is explained and how he did it is explained. He's given you like the whole golden goose right there. It's, it's amazing. Well, Dave, what I think what I'm going to do for the people who are listening, um, there's a URL that I'm going to put over here. It's uh, the plrshow.com forward slash David E. And if they go there, um, I've got a PLR course on affiliate marketing, which we, which we talked about. Nice. And some PLR on local marketing. And what I'm also going to do is I have in my brain here um, a, an influencer that you can target that um, I'm only going to reveal to the people who get this course. And, and what it's going to do, it's going to kind of help you to get, it's going to be a one to many strategy. So you get the influencer and you're then going to be able to then kind of move out to some of these other business owners who would be interested in some of the courses that you have that you know you already have from us if you're watching this or even some of the other stuff business related stuff you have so those are the three things I'm gonna put um, with this for the people that go to the plrshow.com forward slash David E. Dave is there anything else we need to know about this? Man I just say uh, it's the best bang for your buck that you'll get I, I've seen um, Check this out. This is something we didn't even talk about yet, but I've seen uh, click-through rates. Click-through? Hold on. Let me make sure I got the right terminology here. Yeah, yeah. Um, hold on one second. Let me back up to where I was. Uh, click-through rates are crazy. So let me share. One of them is a 44% click-through rate. Man. Uh, another one was 70 something percent when I last saw it, um, click through rate, which means that that personalization that you're doing by adding their name, by adding their title, by adding what company they work for, it works like crazy. And you know what other thing that I noticed now, like I said, I'm, I'm brand new, just like doing my initial tests. But the other thing I noticed is that even if you pause a campaign, those emails already went out to everybody. <laughs> that was in that target. And so I noticed that even after I pause a campaign, I'm still getting results because not everybody's on, on LinkedIn all the time. Right. But when they do come onto LinkedIn, then they see the message and that adds to my stats, which is very different and very weird, but it's very cool because I could run a campaign for a short time. And then after I pause it, I can still be getting results. So it's, it's a fun, new, exciting way to reach people and get really high engagement on your ads because it's so new. Like it's, it's novel when people see, huh, this is different in my, you know, in mm -hmm. my LinkedIn email, 
this is different and it has like a button I can push. Let me push that and see what happens. They're curious, right? And yep. like anything brand new, they tend to engage with it more because they're curious to see how it works or even maybe they're wondering, does this work for me? Will, will this idea work in my business? You know, so it's, it's really cool on a bunch of different levels. Dave, uh, I'm, I, want, I want to finish up. Um, I'm going to get asked this and then, uh, and then I'm going to let you go. Um, okay, so... So why is it so inexpensive? <laughs> I'm yeah. going to get asked that. So yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, that's a great question. I can only give you my theory. My theory is it's so new, nobody knows about it. Therefore, there's no comp not much competition for these clicks. And like any pay-per-click, it's an auction type of, of business, right? So it, when it, just like Google Ads were super cheap when they first came out. Yep. Super cheap. Everybody could make money like that. Well... LinkedIn is apparently this is a bait this this particular um, type of ad is in beta right now, which means it's brand new. Very few people know about it. And you're only paying for, you know, very fine targeted emails. So you're only paying for you're paying for a smaller number of ad eyeballs. But because they're so targeted, you're going get, to get great results. So it's a number of things, I think. It's brand new. Nobody knows about it. So there's less competition for the clicks. You're only targeting the fine tune thing. So, so mm -hmm. there's less cost there. Um, yeah, I think those are probably the main couple reasons why it's so cheap. And so it's, it's time to get in right now. <laughs> it's so good. That's cool. Um, yeah. Well, everybody, if you're watching, uh, the URL, and hopefully you'll be able to see on your screen, is the plrshow.com forward slash David E. And what I'll do is I'll just put a picture of the, you know, of the courses you're going to get. Um, you know, you can obviously just go straight to the page, but just click through and go straight to the page. If, you know, you've heard enough about the bonuses, you just want to go get it. Um, and then, um, and then you'll have uh, Dave and Jeremy kind of teaching you in there. What I will also have, you know, in the, you know, when you get it, is my, you know, part of my bonus is also going to be, I'm going to tell you about this one influencer that you'll be able to kind of talk to and target so that you'll be able to reach some of these other business owners. And you may know this already, um, but you may not know it. So I'm going to share that with you. It's probably going to only take me two sentences to do, but it's a pretty powerful strategy if you want to use it. So Dave, um, and by as the way, always, before, yeah, before we finish, uh, I'd be willing to pay for that product just to get that one influence that you're talking about. <laughs> That's right. So That's right. If yeah. I have to buy that product from myself, <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> well, Dave, um, thanks, man. I, I appreciate you. You know, you did this at the last minute, and, um, and I appreciate you coming on. Absolutely. Always my pleasure, Charles. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks very much. Have a great day and a pleasant tomorrow. Take care.